it is it is creative. It, it's something we haven't heard or seen much of. So I'll give it a forty for the boldness. But like, wow, that's a that's a very generous generous bump. I I like I like the bold, right. uh, even if it is unhinged with a terrible at. But whatever. So yeah, you know what, thirty five. 35. <laughs> 35. Well, I whittled you down. Go. Uh, it's because of his love of Sam Haggerty, who's not that good, guys. Oh, huh? here he goes. Huh? Here he goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That reminds me. That reminds me. Ah, so, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. So, down below in the comments, if you're watching on YouTube, let us know who you think Colby's Dylan Moore in 2023 is going to be. Who is he going to hate the most on the Mariners? Let us know down in the comments all right let's get swagger he's certainly a a candidate too so yeah if you if you listen to our podcast our <laughs> patreon show the other day i forget was it yesterday's show maybe it was tuesday's show tuesday show I think. yeah tuesday's show yeah colby's started this heel turn whatever <laughs> uh all right anyway, just looking at stats we're, baby just uh, looking at stats we're, 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 we'll get into this next week uh mariners uh this one comes from sky dre uh this was a very uh late submission uh this one just got in there right before the buzzer actually uh, and it caught my attention so uh mariners get uh left-handed reliever gregory soto who uh according to this tweet has three years left of club control i'll have to double check that um tigers get pen murphy brian Wu, and uh your boy juan pento so 20 I mean, mm, of course you there can't you trade juan pento and brian Wu in the same trade <laughs> and expect me to be happy about it also gregory Ooh. soto not that good uh now he certainly you know he he's a two-time all-star he's a career 5.3 base on ball per nine and he's only striking out nine guys per nine he's not that good like no he's overrated his fifths you know 414 this last year 359 that's fine i'm not giving up two top 10 prospects and a pretty solid middle reliever for gregory soto no he's not that good right. he's overrated i'm out yeah no i actually uh agree with that uh he's very much overrated i'm this is just too much for me uh and this is probably what the tigers are going to ask for they're probably yeah. going to ask for even more than this actually if we're being honest uh and i'm just i'm super out like he's dude he's <laughs> like you mentioned the, like, the, walks, the, the walks are insane the the the, the amount of yeah. walk the fact that this guy has been an all-star is nuts to me like it he really speaks more to the tie how bad the tigers have been right um uh, but also like Really? You made this guy an all-star and Miggy, but you left out Tariq Skubal? Really? Yeah, That's... so so strange. So that makes so sense. strange. By the by the way, if you're hoping for like a left-handed element, he's a lefty and get lefties out. No. <laughs> he's better against righties than he is lefties. He's not that he's not that good. He's not that good. So yeah. no, this is you can have Penn Murphy for him, and that's it. I wouldn't trade Brian Wu for Gregory Soto straight up or Juan Pinto. I'm out. No. It's not very good. Yeah. He walks um, uh, five guys per nine. Yeah. Yeah. That's five. five. And it's not even like he's running like a 14 K per nine number either. Dude, that is, that is nuts. That is he's wild. Not good. Yeah. Okay. I should rephrase that. He's fine, but you're paying for high, you're paying high leverage reliever prices for a guy in the Mariners bullpen, even as, you know, questionable as it is right now would be yeah. like their fourth best option I, or fifth I, best I, option. I, I think the I think a very fair statement here would just, would be to say that he has really good to even great stuff, but he just can't find the strike zone. He's one of those guys, right? And he really can't st find the strike zone. Sure. It's so severe that it's like he's almost like like he's not unusable. But God, you don't feel comfortable whenever he's out there when Pop he's running tie. walk rates like that. Like he definitely should not be a like the like he's a high leverage arm in Detroit. He should not be a high leverage arm in a good bullpen with no. the way that he's walking guys. You ready for this one, Ty? Sure. Diego Castillo is better. Period. End of story. Mm. Mm. He's Old better. DBB. Strikes out the same number of guys. Walks two fewer per nine. Lower whip. You know, bet uh, higher WAR. Diego Castillo is better. Would you give up three? Would you give up? You know, three top ten prospects for Diego Castillo? 
two top 10 prospects and, and, you know, an interesting middle reliever for Diego Castillo. But Colby, no! he's a lefty. He's a lefty. He throws a lefty no! in the bullpen. Ah. And I feel like we're piling on this guy, and that's not fair. Because no, 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 no. We're not, we're not piling yeah, on Sky Drake. It's totally no, 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 legitimate no, no. to ask about Gregory Soto. In fact, yeah, we yeah. haven't talked about him, so it's a good idea. But, like, yeah, yeah. no. He's no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're more appalled just by the, the overall hype around Gregory Soto yes. rather than you recommending the trade to make it very clear to right. you, Sky Drake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So... Yep. Uh, but yeah, I, I wouldn't trade all of this for, for Soto. He's just, he's like you said, he's just not that good. Um, be honest, I'll... Ty, would you trade Penn Murphy straight up for Gregory Soto? Mm. See the fact uh, that you have to, I probably would. But yeah. The fact yeah. That no, I, I, I would, it? I would, I think the smart, the smart answer here is yes. Uh, but right, you're running upside at that point. Yeah. 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 Uh, but the fact that you stopped and thought about it says everything but, we need to know. But Penn Murphy was better than Gregory Soto this yeah. year. So, Murphy, like, and Penn Murphy's a dime a dozen. Like, yeah. Penn Murphy, they could DFA him tomorrow, and you and I would be like, oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that yeah, would be yeah, our yeah. reaction. He's just a middle yeah. reliever. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, Gregory Soto is way too overhyped. The fact that that man has two all star nods shows you how ridiculous all star Wait, he has two? Yeah. I thought he only back had the back one. Years. What? Back to back years, he's been an all star. That's yep. insane. I think he That's... was Detroit's only rep in 2021, and then this last year they picked him over Tariq Skubal. Like, wow! What are we doing? I'm speechless. I'm speechless. So yeah, Gregory Soto is is overrated. Um, That's wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's insane, massively so. overrated. That those numbers are terrible. So uh, by the, I guess if the Mariners acquire Gregory Soto, the question you asked a couple minutes ago is moot because the answer is going to be Gregory Soto. It's not yeah. very good. He's just not very good. Uh. 35 because you created a, a great discussion here <laughs> right and i think i think based on reputation like your trade package is, is fine but when you look you at know, the numbers, you know what 40 40 because yeah. I, I really enjoyed this discussion <laughs> yeah. but when you look at the numbers like no god no he's not worth yeah. that but like just the hype that's around soto I hear people all the time soto's a high leverage reliever no he's not Hey, I'll, I'll, Soto. Say, I'll say this at least the the Mariners fan base would probably actually be excited about it. They'd be like, "Oh, probably. Gregory I'm Soto, just, hell yeah!" <laughs> if Gregory Soto is a high leverage reliever, Matt Festa is Edwin freaking Diaz. Like, yeah, careful, stop. careful, pal. <laughs> just stop. Gregory Soto's a bum. There, I said it. Now, Q Monday, <sighs> they trade for Gregory Soto, and we hop on the mics. Gregory Soto is one, greatest, like, yeah, this is one of the greatest. Yeah, this is one of the greatest I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> what more do you want? Like, so yeah, but no, he's not very good. So I'll, I'll say forty. Uh, I'll say forty. Uh, yeah, because this was a fun discussion. It did allow us to talk about a player we haven't talked about. Sure. And you know, kind of, you know, reveal to the world our our, our feelings deep, on Gregory dark Soto. thoughts on Gregory yeah. Soto. <laughs> They're not good they're not good so um yeah good, uh well good, your, your trade proposals stuff. were on hinge uh, and the show was ultimately on hinge and uh you know what i think that was a great way to end the year <laughs>